what's going on, everybody? We're uh, we're just chilling down in a hole. We're uh, chilling down in a hole. We're looking up some. Uh... You guys like news stories, right? Oh, this is good. You like staring at Gal Gadot? Gal Gadot gets new Disney movie banned in multiple countries, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Let's get at it. Yeah. So Disney's newest offering under its 20th Century Studios banner is Death on the Nile. Huh. That's the name of the film that they're making. Yeah, it's based off an Agatha Christie novel. Yeah. So An adaptation of the classic Agatha Christie novel of the same name. You know, a lot of good things happen when movies are based off of novels. Yeah. Because the source material, Agatha Christie, you can't lose with her. No. Um... But yeah, there's controversy, not even around the movie. It, I'm guessing it has to do with her being former military uh, Israeli. Don't even need to read it. That's crazy. Yeah. This is what's happening in 2022. Yeah, dude. A long time ago, she was in the Israeli military. And because of that, you're banning her films? Despite controversy surrounding star Army Hammer, I don't know what he did, the Walt Disney uh, Company and production team decided to go ahead releasing the film in theaters on February the 11th, 2022. Now, however, it has Man. been banned in two countries as a result of leaving Lady Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Which and two Notre countries Woman. are we talking about? Uh, as a result of her Israeli military service, Gal Gadot and the Israeli national and former Miss Israel uh, previously served for her country. She's so badass. Like, you're Miss Israel, and you're also... Lebanon and Kuwait. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's been banned in Lebanon and Kuwait. Notes that Goodell's service to the Israeli military is what has caused the ban of the film, with both Lebanon and Kuwait actively protesting Israel. They don't even not... They don't even hate her. They just hate the fact that she's from Israel. Oh <laughs> and she was military and she was Miss Israel. Why can't we just enjoy good things? Lebanon know. previously banned the Wonder Woman movie starring Gadol for the same reasons. On the flip side, Death of the, Death of the Nile has earned a rare confirmed release date in, in China. China. Interesting. Watch the trailer. No. I'm not even going to watch that movie. But there's all I the might. people that are in it. I'll probably watch it. Army Hamill, Russell Brand. Russell Brand's in it. I'm watching it. I love yeah. him. <laughs> Lanita Wright or Let, Let, Leticia Wright. I can't read these. Uh, that is the smallest graphic on the planet. Can you read that? I can't read that graphic. That graphic is stupid. No, Who, that's pretty. I mean. Inside the magic.net, your imagery sucks. There's a but whole. Your article's good. Your article's Thank good. Thank you for the article. But thanks for having like the lowest resolution image. I can't even read people's <laughs> names. The official description, uh, more to be beat. But anyway, long story short, that's why it got banned. It didn't get banned because it's like you know, super sexy or anything. It, it, it's a movie, and she's in it. And if you're, if she's going to be in a movie, they will not let it happen in Kuwait and Lebanon. Sucks for you guys. That's all I have to say. She's great. And that movie will be good. It's a Disney movie. They always have fun Disney movies. Mo Disney movie based off an Agatha Christie novel, probably going to be it's a home run. run. Yeah, because yeah. money's not an option when it comes to Disney. No. So they can hire good people, and you know they got good people on camera, good people behind the cameras, good people fucking everywhere. And you're you're pulling from an Agatha Christie novel, which is also not a bad call. Uh, that's also the, there's another piece of news I'd like to talk about in this uh, particular video. Today's, I'm just going to... Uh, today's news is brought to you in part by uh, Rise of Dissension and Godthorn. <laughs> Thanks for making good music. Eight and a half billion dollars is what Amazon just finally closed the deal with. What did you just say? Eight and a half billion? They just bought MGM Studios. Amazon did. Amazon now owns James Bond. That happened. Uh, it was actually. When just, did that happen? It was actually. It's been in the works for a while, but it was just confirmed like yesterday, two days ago. They closed the deal. Holy shit! Yeah. They better not change the lion. Uh, according to the Wall Street Journal, so that's. I mean, I'm speaking in Canadian funds. It's around six and a half billion American. Wow. Um, 
That's such a crazy giant, shit. Gigantic the only thing of I, money. That's an awful, awful lot of money. I mean, now, now granted, Amazon. Granted, I where mean, the fuck did that come from? That guy was selling books out of his grand, as oh, mom's I mean, garage. He's sending people up. He's going up into space. He's taking friends into space. But I mean, you got to look at what MGM owns. Oh, dude! Like they, it's not just Bond. I mean, I'm just saying that because I'm a huge Bond fan. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. All the way back. Metro, Goldwyn, and Meyer. Are those yeah. guys still alive? Probably not. But they will be... What about part. the lot? They have to keep the lion. They will also be part of Amazon Prime Video. Obviously. Uh, but I'm really... Oh, so does that mean... Bond, yeah. All Bond movies on Amazon Prime? I oh. mean, I have them all on Blu-ray anyway, but sign me up on Prime. That's yeah, pretty awesome. It's kind of like, like Marvel is all exclusive now to Disney. Um, that was a big acquire for them. Yeah, like nearly a century long legacy of film production. That's now... not going to stop. No, God, no. And I and I think they're going to be smart and still keep keep the lion, keep it all. Keep oh, it I all still. Separate. Yeah, you have to keep the branding. Yeah, I think it'll still come up MGM with the lion and the old school logo and everything yeah. else, and it'll be you know a division of Amazon Prime Video. But just crazy stuff. Eight it'll just be another title card to look at. Like Eight. some of these horror movies, they got like sixteen different companies. But you, I mean, you have to when you look at like some of the studios and stuff that Disney has bought. When yeah. you look at Lucasfilm, when you look at, I mean, oh, yeah. you name it, you name it. Um, it's nice to see Amazon jumping in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, you, you can't get mad at it because they've got money. Yeah. And what do you need to make movies? Money. And uh, wow, though, man, six billion, what do you Six and a half billion U.S., around, roughly around eight and a half billion. Canadian. Yeah. Holy shit, dude, that's so much money. That's amazing. Wow, I didn't yeah. even know that was happening. Yeah, That's it's crazy. been in the works, but it just yeah, it just closed a couple of days ago. Crazy, so crazy when, stuff. Some, when, enter, some crazy entertainment news. We don't. I mean, yeah. When you acquire a movie studio of that size, they have every, they. You would get they their, own all of it. Yeah, I would assume so. Everything. Wow. Fantastic. They don't own that new Gal Gadot. So movie. think about this now. Not only does Amazon. <laughs> have mgm studios mm -hmm. on top of every other studio they're partnered with with amazon prime but well and amazon owning, they've been putting out some great stuff just too. think of merchandising dude they have that new lord of the rings thing coming yeah um oh the merchandising the merchandising crazy. alone it, it, when you've got all these different film series over the last hundred years and not only that but you can make this merchandise and sell it on your own service yeah yeah and deliver it with your and own service. And deliver it with your own service. <laughs> yeah. Jeff Bezos, like, I, I know he stepped down from doing all the crazy work, but, like, this Amazon business oh, is pretty still, cool. I'm sure he's still helping out. He's he's raking in the dough. He doesn't need to do anything. If you were, if you built a company that size, why would you work? Yeah. Yeah. He just sits on the top of the heap. It's like Steven Spielberg in the new Halo TV series on uh, Paramount+. Plus. What did you Ste say about Steven Spielberg? Steven Spielberg, it's like, I wouldn't, call, like, he wasn't specifically a director or a producer, but he literally had his hand in every aspect of this TV show. On the Halo the writing. One. Yeah. Steven oh. Spielberg. God, what's, what day is it today? It's the 19th. So he just likes to be involved. March 24th on Paramount+. Plus. Yikes. Halo. I will, I will be subscribing, and I, I, Every time I watch the trailer, man, it's like I start to feel emotional. Like, because I've been waiting. It does look really cool. It looks, but I just, the amount. And they never changed time. anything, which is kind of neat. Because, no, no. like, when they did the X Men movies, they were fine. But they all wore, like, black leather. This just, this looks like I wanted this a is Halo like, show to look like. Gee, I wonder what Master Chief's going to look like. And then you see the trailer, and you're like, fucking badass is what he, he looks, looks like. He looks the same way he, he looks exactly <laughs> the way he should look. Exactly. And you I'm know. really excited, I guess. And if he has new armors and stuff like they have in the. I just, I can't wait. It looks amazing. I yeah. entertainment news on down the hole. Who knew that was going to happen? Right. Thanks, man. Thanks for checking us out, everybody. You're, you're like, share, those, subscribe, yeah. comment on what you think of what we talked about today. What do you think of Gal Gadot? I love that. I love that she's, she's so badass. So, so badass. They won't even play it. No. They're like, wait, who's in it? No. What do you think of Amazon I'll buying MGM? And I'll what are your thoughts on Halo? You know how I said I probably wouldn't watch that You'll watch movie? It. I'll watch it. I'll probably it. watch it. You know why? Because we're in Canada and we can do what we want. Sorry, Ukraine. Yeah. Not Ukraine. Lebanon and Kuwait. We are sorry for you too. Ukraine. We are, we are sorry for Ukraine. I, I mean, I... They're going to bust out of that though. Ukraine's so. a bunch of fucking gnarly badasses too. I really hope so. Just like her. 
She's probably over there fighting. No, she's I not. Wish, sometimes I wish I was over there fighting, too. There's a lot of you cool Ukraine stories coming out of there that, um, you know, like like professional boxers and stuff, like guys who are from that country. Oh, well, we had lunch at uh, Mama's yeah. Diner yesterday. Yeah. Uh, right across the road. Big flagpole. Big, yep. huge Canada flag. Big, Ukraine huge Ukraine, Ukrainian flag. It was yep. wonderful. We're behind you, Ukraine. 100%. You guys are badass, and you're gonna we're going to pull out of this thing. Even the even a lot of the Russian soldiers, I think, are like, mm. yeah, they're getting captured by the Ukrainians. Their wallets, and just their like wallets hurt. And how about giving them sandwiches and man, stuff? How about Putin being like, yeah, cool, you can pirate shit. You you want you want to download illegal video games and movies and all that? Go nuts. Who said that? Putin. Why? Because everybody pulled their. Like Netflix stopped operating. Oh, uh, like Xbox and PlayStation aren't. Sh- showing any support in yeah. russia so putin's like oh yeah you guys want to do all that shit then we'll just pirate all your stuff yeah well that'll go that'll go over great they'll come i'm sure netflix will come netflix will come right back after they're telling them to pirate all their stuff yeah oh please but anyway yeah we're pulling for you Crane. we're all in this together yes 100 percent Thanks for checking. Uh, thanks for checking out our channel, yeah, guys. Like, our, like uh, share, subscribe. Yep. Let us know what you think down there. Entertainment news on down the halls. It, it's a thing. It's a thing. We did it. Didn't know it was going to be. We did it. But it was. Ciao.